American Automotive comes out next week as I'm sure you're aware and we still haven't had the Forza Monthly yet. Today the Forza Monthly has been announced along with a car that's been now been confirmed and it is none other than the Lucid Air from Lucid Motors that we have already talked about a few times on this channel because it was leaked and it is now confirmed. So let's talk about that. So over on Twitter we got confirmation of which day the Forza Monthly is going to be because the, the update comes out next week and we still haven't had the Forza Monthly. It's going to be on Monday Monday for the I presume the update will release on Tuesday Wednesday for the season to change over on Thursday next week now if you have a look as you've seen in the photo that announces the Forza monthly we can see the lucid air now this is from lucid motors it is an American car manufacturer so it adds up perfectly with American automotive being the theme and bit of an Easter egg in the photo the car is parked in front of solar panels solar panels to produces electricity the lucid air is electric a little bit of a, an easter egg there I suppose but if we have a look at the Lucid Motors website we can see that this is no ordinary Lucid Air that has been added to the game. Lucid do a Lucid Air Grand Touring with about a thousand horsepower and we can see here this does not match the car in the Forza Monthly photo because the rims are different. They also do a Lucid Air Touring with a, a lot less power around 600 Again, the rims don't match. They do one called the Lucid Air Pure, which has even less horsepower. Again, the rims don't match. But if we have a look at the Lucid Air Sapphire for 1,234 horsepower, so it's really quick, have a look at those rims and the colour. They actually match perfectly with the image that we've received on Twitter today from Playground Games. So not only are we getting the Lucid Air, it's going to be the Lucid Air Sapphire that's coming to the game. Now that is the only car that Lucid do. They do seem to be working on an SUV called the Lucid Gravity. Now this doesn't seem to be in production, so I don't think this will also be in the update. I would say it's only the Lucid Air Sapphire. Maybe the Lucid Air Pure maybe the other lucid air versions are coming as well that's certainly a possibility we only know about the sapphire now now if you're a keen watcher on this channel if you're not make sure to subscribe we were speaking about this car weeks ago because thanks to tgr55 the lucid logo was spotted in the files so we predicted that this car may be coming and we finally have it confirmed today there is another car that might potentially be a part of this update and it is the celine s7 lm Forza Monthly next week will also have a Forza Motorsport portion, so Forza Motorsport have had their own Forza Monthly post on Twitter. The interesting thing is in that thumbnail is the Celine S7 LM. That car is not in Forza Motorsport, so it's safe to presume that it is going to Forza Motorsport soon, but it might also be coming to Horizon 5. If you remember the last most recent leak that we've spoken about, the Celine S7 LM is one of the cars in that batch. A few other cars in that batch have confirmed to be true and have been added, such as the BMW M3, the KTM. So maybe the Celine is coming as well. It might not, but it's in this Forza Motorsport thumbnail and it has been leaked for Horizon 5. Maybe it's coming to both games next week. We'll have to wait and see. Now, while we're on the topic of electric cars, I want to quickly touch on something else, and that is Tesla. Now, Tesla was in Forza Horizon 3 many, many years ago. However, come Forza Horizon 4, the Tesla manufacturer was nowhere to be seen. Now, we're not exactly sure exactly why this is. It is said that because Elon Musk owns Tesla, he doesn't really need to do much advertising, much marketing, doesn't really need to get his cars out there. Just the fact that he's Elon Musk, that sort of sells it already. So that's potentially why we don't really see Tesla in any Forza games because he just he's not bothered about it really. Now, what's very interesting is Gran Turismo 7 has recently received an update this week, in fact, and a new addition in that update was the Tesla Model 3 performance from 2023. So a brand new Tesla. Now I think they do already have another Tesla in Gran Turismo but it's interesting to me that Tesla have obviously allowed Gran Turismo to add the Model 3 performance to the game very recently. Now because we're getting an American automotive update in Horizon 5 this week as well or next week it does make me wonder if Tesla have had a change of heart recently. Maybe they are now deciding to let video games use their Teslas. Gran Turismo's got it this week 
maybe that means a Tesla might be coming in the update next week as well. Again, this is just speculating, this is just guessing, just based on the fact that it's arrived in Gran Turismo. Could be completely wrong though. We have to remember it is an American automotive update, so it would make sense for an American car like the Tesla to come in that update. We'll have to wait and see though. I hope it does come. I'm actually looking at buying a Tesla Model 3 performance in real life myself, so it would be great to have that in the game. So we know the Lucid Air is coming. We know everything else that's on the splash screen, the oval. We know about the four roads. What else could we get? Well, again, over on GT Planet, Kelpie D, who we speak about quite regularly, he mentioned that in the Forza.net post about the Dia de Muertos update, it mentions that this American automotive will have the biggest and most muscular cars from American automotive history. Now I checked this and it's true. I did miss this, so well spotted from him. If this is true, that would mean that potentially cars like this are definite candidates because they are technically, I guess, the biggest and most muscular American cars. Certainly the biggest at least. I mean, look at that. these are like 50 feet long. They're that big. It won't just be this though. What Kelpie D also said is obviously there's always a mix of cars. There'll be some modern American cars in there. There'll be some old retro ones, some classic ones. He actually put together a few lists of cars that may be coming. We've got American classic cars from the 50s to 70s that have new to Forza cars, cars that would be returning from Horizon 4, from Horizon 3. I think the Deberti design Ford Econoline was leaked in the last update, so that's certainly possible. I'd be very surprised if if we don't get at least one car from this list. We have American retro cars from the 80s to the noughties. Again, there's a few cars here that have been leaked, like the Ford Thunderbird again, the Chevrolet Silver Silverado that's been spotted in a Horizon 5 audio recording. But again, there's lots of new to Forza cars there. What else have we got? We have modern American cars from 2010 to present. This is based on past leaks and the fact that adding at least one 2019 plus car is very likely one of these again i put a lot of money on it which one though i don't know the celine s7 again i put high up there because of the most recent leaks compare those car lists to the leaked car list see which ones match up those are definitely the most likely and just a quick glance at this there's a lot of American cars on this list. So this update could be big. We'll have to wait and see. Now, before I end it very quickly, there's one thing I wanna show you that I've been wanting to show you for a few weeks now, and that is a YouTube channel from an, a Playground Games employee. It's nothing serious, but they did a couple of videos on their personal YouTube channel of working on VFX virtual effects for Forza Horizon 5 and it's just interesting there's only a couple of videos they're only a couple of minutes long but it gives you a bit of an insight as the work that goes behind the scenes in the virtual effects for Horizon 5 even things such as a flamingo there's a lot of just work that goes into the behind a flamingo in Horizon 5 go to the YouTube channel you can see the name there give it a give them a watch it's something a bit interesting if you like this channel you'll like all the behind the scenes sort of leaky interesting stuff you might find it interesting so go give it a watch leave a like if you've enjoyed I'll see you all later